guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kat and this is Catadactyl. Today I'm going to be talking about my April TBR translated works. One of my last videos I talked about how I want to be reading more works in translation and also more books not from the USA. So this is my TBR for works that were originally not published in English. So I have six to get to, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. So my first translated pick for April is... Coin Locker Babies by Ryu Murakami, who is from Japan. So in this one, we follow two young boys who are abandoned at birth in adjacent storage lockers. And as they grow up, they grow up in Toxic Town, which is a very specific gritty underbelly of Tokyo. And as they grow up, one becomes a very successful rock star, and the other becomes a competitive pole vaulter. And one of them has a girlfriend that has a crocodile, and they both decide to set out on a journey to get revenge on the woman who left them in the lockers in the first place. So I read In the Miso Soup by Rumi Murakami last year and it was amazing and I'm hoping to also read this one and think it is equally as amazing. Um, I'm getting like a little bit of resonance with um, Oryx and Crake and uh, Mad Adam and Year of the Flood by Margaret Atwood if you have read those. So I am hopeful that it is exactly like that because that would be amazing. And it's a little chunky, it's a little chunk chunk, but it's okay. I dig it. Um, yeah. So looking forward to this. So my next translated pick for the month is Venus in Furs by Leopold von Sachet Masak, who is Austrian. So in this one we follow Severin, a European nobleman who is fixated on one specific woman. This woman is the cruel, merciless Wanda, and she essentially holds him under her spell. He wants nothing more than to be owned and brutalized by Wanda, and it is hailed as a classic of the exploration of um, subjugation, sexuality, and submission. I am hoping that I will find it much more palatable than I found 121 Days of Sodom um, by the Marquis de Sade. I thought that book was terrible. I'm hoping that this is miles and away way more interesting, way better than that trash. Okay, moving on. <laughs> so my next pick for the month is Frankenstein in Baghdad by Ahmad Sadawi. In this one, we follow Hadi, who is a scavenger in the rubble-strewn US-occupied Baghdad, and he goes around the streets collecting body parts and stitching them together into corpses. And his goal is so that they can have proper burial rites. Suddenly, the corpse goes missing, and it may or may not be reanimated, and then a gruesome series of murders happens in the city. And Frankenstein, yes, check. Um, Baghdad relations with the U.S., of which I haven't read that much about in literature, check, and gruesome string of murders which may or may not be a zombie, double check. So I can't wait to read this book. I knew about it last year and then it has recently come up for some awards, so I'm really keen to read it. So my next pick is The Palace of Dreams by Ismail Kadare, who is Albanian. We follow a man named Mark Allen. He works for a totalitarian sinister government known as the Palace of Dreams. His job is to sort the dreams that come in from people's heads looking for the master dreamer. And this person dreams about the future of the government. So I'm getting a lot of echoes to that movie with Tom Cruise. I can't remember which one it is. Minority Report, maybe? Um, but I'm really interested in this writer. He's written a lot of other books and I'm hoping to read them down the line because he seems to write a lot of different types of books, um, fiction or dystopian or sci-fi, so I am keen to give this one a go. So next up is a sci-fi classic, Solaris by Stanislaw Lem and he is from Poland. So in this one we follow a main character who is a scientist, and he has arrived on the planet he is studying, which is covered in a vast ocean. Now, when he first interacts with the ocean, he starts to have memories and vivid like hallucinations of a lover who is long dead. And what he comes to see is that possibly the ocean surrounding the planet may be its brain, and it may or may not be recreating dreams, for the different researchers on the planet. The purpose to making these dreams? Unknown. Am I intrigued? Yes. Does it sound vaguely like Ray Bradbury's Illustrated Man Short Stories or The Martian Chronicle Short Stories? Absolutely yes, and I'm so here for it. If you have read this, please let me know. Is it like Bradbury? Is it better? What did you think? I'm so excited! <laughs> 
And last up on my translated list for the month is The Blue Fox by Sujan, which is from Iceland. So actually, I have never read anything by him, but I have heard great things about this, um, especially from Simon at Savage Reads. It's set in Iceland in 1883, and we follow a priest as he sets out on his mission to hunt the enigmatic blue fox. We also follow a naturalist and his charge, who has Down syndrome, who happened to rescue him from a shipwreck off of the Icelandic coast. And as these tales weave together, I have heard that it is just a very transformative read and very kind of atmospheric. It's part fable, part mystery, part fairy tale, and I have heard great things about it, and I cannot wait to read it. So this finishes up my translated TBR for April. Please do let me know if you have any recommendations or if you have any questions about these books. I cannot wait to read them and let you guys know what I think. So yes. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or hit the subscribe button if you would like to see more translated works. Um, and I will chat to you later. Toodles!